Hi guys. Lately my son has expressed an interest in getting into archery. I knew about PVC bows and after a quick YouTube search, I found a channel by the name of the Backyard Bowyer. The man's name is Nick and chances are, if you're watching this video, you already know all about him. If you don't, Nick can show you how to make bows with draw weights from 10 to 80 pounds, simple to complex, in all different styles and profiles. He can even show you how to make takedown bows. He can also show you how to make all the different accessories needed to take up the sport of archery. Everything you're about to see, I learned on his channel. These are the quivers that I made for the three of us. It's made out of two inch diameter pipe that's 18 inches long with a simple wood plug at the bottom. Paracord will hold the clip. The clip is made out of PVC pipe that was heated and flattened and then reheated and bent into an S shape to be able to hold your belt or the top of your pants. This is the first bow I made and it's my son's. All of my bows are made with white Schedule 40 PVC plumber's pipe. This is 3 quarter inch pipe by 48 inches long, shaped into a recurve with a draw weight of around 35 to 40 pounds. The string is made out of paracord with a knot for the knock, arrow knock point, and the handle is wrapped in matching paracord. Go. Wait a minute, start over, just put you, okay, ready, anytime you're ready, it's rolling. I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, perfect. This is my daughter's bow. It was also made out of three quarter inch diameter pipe that was 56 inches long and shaped into a long bow design. Draw weights approximately 20 to 25 pounds. The limbs were flattened and I gave it a simple tip to uh, secure the paracord bowstring. And again, it just has a knot and a paracord wrapped handle. took her to the big box store and stood in front of the wall of spray paint and told her to choose. And then we went over to a local general store, it's an outfitter type place that has bulk paracord on spools. And again, told her to choose. These are the colors that she chose and I think it turned out great. These are the bowstring releases that I made. Your middle finger goes in the hole with your pointer finger to the left and your ring finger to the right. The bowstring goes in the notch cutout. To release the bowstring, you simply relax your pointer finger and it will uh, spin and release. Okay, go ahead. This is my bow. 
and although I'd love to tell you that I'm super crafty and painted it, the truth is you're just looking at duct tape. Now normal duct tape has a little bit of flexibility flexibility to it, but uh, this is kind of more plasticky. When I first applied it, it was perfectly flat, but it's popped up a few times. I keep pushing it down and now it has a few wrinkles. Still link it, think it looks pretty good. The back was painted with a uh, satin olive drab color and somewhat matching paracord uh, string serves as uh, the bow string and the handle wrap. It's made out of one inch PVC pipe that was 60 inches long shaped into a recurve with a draw weight of 40 to 45 pounds. This design was stolen right off the backyard Bowyer's channel. I'm trying to give you a better look at the dark areas because it has scales as well. Do a Google search for Scotch duct tape, pretty snaky to find a store in your area. This is the target that we're using. I found the box and then went to the big box store and got used shrink wrap from the garden centers in the back disposal bin. The kids and I are enjoying our new hobby of archery, and I'm enjoying my new hobby of making the bows and learning about bow design. If you're a prepper, having this skill set in your back pocket is probably a good idea. And besides, it's just one more way that I can stay connected with my kids. Cheers.